Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network 2. We're gonna hop right in here. I'm gonna show you our folder here, and just so that you know, this is a voiceover, so I am doing this after the fact. Um, however, this is a chip duplication uh, glitch that is found in Mega Man Battle Network 2, and this is how we're gonna start it. So this is one of the very most important things is right here, this kid here, and starting this uh, this quest, this trade quest, and so I saved in front of him. Um, what we're gonna go ahead and do is trade with him, and then we're gonna take the escape chip, go to the Marine Harbor, and continue the quest. Talk to this kid here, get the variable sword B, and basically what we're doing throughout this glitch is we're getting as many chips as possible and then going and fighting the end boss the most important thing here to perform this glitch is just not to save that's really it um, so the last place that you saved you're gonna start out there in my case it was the start of the chip trading quest uh, that's where I saved so I can just easily do this a number of times um, just that I'm right in front of that kid um, after I defeat the final boss, that's kind of like my save point. And then we just run through all of this and get as many chips as we can, um, as quickly as we can, and then again, just go fight the final boss. And you'll kind of see how the chip duplication kind of works as we do all of this. In the meantime though, we're gonna be collecting chips. So we got the variable sword. Um, we went and got the two chip trading quests um, right now we're gonna be on our way to the Natopia Square uh, for the last one here I've already done this cool not quest like this chip duplication glitch a number of times actually I think I've done it three or four times up to this point I think that this is the fourth um, so I'm already have like a lot of good chips in my inventory at this point and we're getting everything that we need to really go through the final part of this game uh, so I just wanted to upload this video just kind of let you guys see what I've been doing um, I am going to have a separate video kind of running through collecting all of the chips um, that I might shorten down a little bit but before we do that, I think what I'll end up doing is, um, here we go, we're gonna, here's another virus battle, I'm, I'm sure, before we get to him, yeah. But we're going to go to the net dealer over here. Basically, um, again, you're just trying to get all, all the chips that you can, so after getting a whole bunch of Zenny from under net five, uh, you're just gonna be exploring the net, spending all of your Zenny here like this, just filling your folder with as many chips as you can because once you go through and perform this glitch all of their inventories will reset um, now there is a counter that works against you and that's the zenny counter so any zenny that you spend will be gone however it's very easy to get as I previously showed in under net 5 so we kind of already maxed out our zenny then I think it was like uh, 9,999,999 ,999. um, and we just kind of been going through this at this point we're down to like 300,000 or something as you saw there um, so just a heads up there we're just running through to all of the net dealers as well uh, buying as many chips as we possibly can during this whole kind of segment this portion here as well for instance just buying as much as we can uh, there I did not buy the most expensive one because at this point we are running low on Zenny um, and I only wanted to do this a couple more times so I'm gonna reset and I'm gonna come back later and just buy out the cheaper ones um, and I end up spending spending all of my Zenny uh, down to the zero amount so um, it's good that I kind of skipped on the more expensive ones at this point uh, just to try to get as many chips as I can. Again, the point of that, trying to get as many chips as we can, is that we are going to need to get all of the chips in this game to 100% it. 
Um, so that would include chip trading. Chip trading is going to benefit us hugely. So we want to get as many chips as we can doing this so we can have a lot of chips to chip trade. So just a heads up there and why we're collecting them and not just duplicating the chips that we want for our folder for the end game. So we got two tasks here, get as many chips as we can and duplicate the good chips that we want for our chip folder in the end game. And now at this point, what we're, um, what, what I'm planning on doing here is after all of this, what I was talking about with like the, um, kind of shortening things down, uh, before I go through and make a video of collecting all the chips, there's a couple things that we need to do prior to. So I am going to continue on in the after story. And the biggest thing that we need to do is do the job quests. Um, how, how we, in the beginning of the game, we got like our, uh, B license, C license, A license, um, stuff like that to be a city net battler. Uh, those continue. So you can actually go back and take more tests up to like an S, SS, and then a SSS uh, rank test. So uh, those are pretty difficult. Uh, but at this point in the game, with us getting these chips, they'll be pretty easy. They, they shouldn't really be a big deal um, so much. We'll, we'll see how those videos turn out <laughs> but um, after doing that we do also have to do the job quest board at uh, the Marine Harbor so there's two big things that we need to do and then we also need to go to that door back in the undernet that we talked about as well as the last thing which is defeating all of the navi viruses uh, so we have quite a lot to do ahead of us uh, between those four things that we've got planned and then as we reach um, a certain point uh, then i'll go back and collect all of our missing chips and i'll kind of just make that a short little tight video so uh, just so that you know what's coming next Here's Number Man. He's back in the um, den area area this at this point. Um, a lot of his chips are very expensive, so again, we're going to kind of skip on a lot of those. These are the ones that I want to buy most of all uh, because they're super cheap. So I'm going to be coming back to these guys quite often, and this is why we did not buy a lot of them in the early game uh, because we want to have a lot of Zenny to be able to just come back to these guys and just farm these chips. And frankly, even after doing this a number of times, I may still not have enough chips. Because I, I think after all of this, um, I showed my the save screen at the very beginning of this video. I'm gonna show it again at the end of the video. I think I only have like 141 chips. Now, given a lot of the chips that we're missing, are navi chips we haven't fought any navis throughout the game i think we're missing quite a significant amount of just chips so we're gonna find all that we can but chip trading is going to be coming in very handy so these guys here we're gonna keep these guys open and uh, keep these guys as an option in the future uh, keep their inventory present. That way, if we need to come back and do this glitch again, um, we can do so and collect a lot of chips very fast. And then we can go through the chip trading to get, get the missing chips that we need. I'm not going to be spending a whole lot of time just collecting, you know, every single chip at all of their locations and showing that off just because of how much time that that takes. Um, and I've already done that in my personal playthrough, so I'm not really going to show off, you know, locations of each and every chip. Um, I, I think most people that I've watched that <laughs> play Mega Man Battle Network don't even do that. They just kind of like fast forward and show you once they're done, you know. So I think if you really need to do that, you can go online and look it up. Um, I don't think that that would be very fun or entertaining, so... I also... Dude, this bug frag... I totally missed that bug frag. How the hell? 
How did I miss that from the early game? That's been there for like all this time? Also, it, you have to notice how I'm navigating the net at this point, which is crazy because my entire playthrough, I feel so bad. I feel like I just really donked up like the entire playthrough because I was always super lost. But like at this point, playing by myself again, like I know exactly where I'm heading. I, I know as I walked out of the room and came back in. <laughs> I forgot I forget to go over here to this portal because this is the one of the most important things. These are some chips that we're duplicating to make our folder as best as possible. We went and got some bug frags prior to this to make sure that we had enough to do this. Basically, after we do this, buy up these chips. We're going to go to this guy over here in the corner right here. This is the bug frag trader. He's got a Zeus hammer and an attack plus 30. We're going to buy up another chip because we found that bug frag anyway. An extra chip's an extra chip to chip trade at the end of the game anyway, so might, might as well. But the Zeus hammer, attack plus 30, incredible chips um, in this game. Especially in this game because there isn't the standard Mega and Giga class chips. It's just so easy. Um, I think that here we notice, I don't think that we went back to the Marine because we don't have our third folder. Yeah. So we do need to go back to Marine Harbor real quick. Go back to Jenny, our sweet little woman that uh, helped us through the mother mother computer. Got to go back to her real quick. And she is the final portion of the chip trading um, fetch quest. So she's hidden right over here. She's just kind of sticking around the mother computer. And we're going to talk to her real quick, give her the big bomb star. And in turn, she's going to give us her chip folder. Now, the beauty of that in this chip duplication glitch is that when you uh, go through and you'll see how we kind of end this, once we end this glitch, you do not keep the folder. So the folder will disappear because our save file re will revert to where we were at Okuden in front of that kid. And when our save file reverts and we lose that third folder, we do not lose the chips. So basically, that just throws 30 free chips into our pack. And we can use those to chip trade. It's a, it's a very easy, good 30 chips really quickly to get. Here we're gonna hop in, we're gonna grab another really good chip. I actually don't know if I'm gonna use this in my folder. I kinda don't like using these in my folder, but Guardian, very good chip as well. If anybody hits it, it does 200 damage to all of the enemies or whoever hits it. So if a virus hits it, it does 200 damage to everybody. Now we're gonna go back through the final door without saving. Again, very important here. And we're just going to go fight the final boss real quick. And a simple explanation of what's going to happen here is, again, not saving, doing all of this questing, um, getting all of the chips that we need, and then getting the folder and getting the good chips that we need. For instance, like the, uh, the bug frack trader. Once we do all of this, everything resets. So it's like nothing was ever done but the chips retain. Because of this final um, area here that we're in right now, you can get chips from these spark noids. So basically they had to save like your folder, uh, like any chips that you collected here in this area and stuff, you keep. What you also keep is literally everything else before the final uh, roll credits. You keep everything. Um, so you actually keep everything that you do prior to the end roll credits. And if you save, that kind of ruins everything. So right here, we're just going to kill base real quick. And again, you'll 
kind of see how all of this kind of transpires. Let's see if we can get the VAR sword off on him. That's a VAR sword glitch. If you have a prism one square in front, the VAR sword will actually repeatedly hit the prism and damage the enemy um, in the square behind it. So I think that actually does a good 1500 damage because it'll go frame by frame. It does a lot of damage on that prism. And for our final showcase, I'm just gonna do a little bit of damage to Gospel here. I'm just kind of waiting for our good chips. We've already beat him fair and square. <coughs> Besides the Gator Program Advance that we used at the very end because we didn't have enough damage before, but um, there's that. Now we're just gonna, yeah, tree bombing. Horrible glitch. And here we are. After the end credits rolled, we're gonna kinda put some chips back into our folder. Uh, but you can see um, where we showed this before. Um, I think that we only had one Zeus hammer in our pack. Now we got two. We got uh, the VAR sword. We got an extra VAR sword. And basically, I'm just going to do this a couple more times until I'm, I'm trying to get five of each of the chips that I really want. So, um, until we get a really good folder, something that I'm good with uh, for the end game. I don't want to make it too OP. I'm going to mess with it on the next video, and I'll show you how we kind of make our folder. I don't want it to be too broken. I'll probably take out a lot of chips. Um, but you'll kind of see how what, what we end up with. I don't want it to be too busted going through the rest of the game. I'm definitely going to take out Gator and different things, but I'll, I'll kind of show you what we end up with there. And, and again, now you can kind of see there 894 chips. I think that's an extra 170 chips from where we left off. So we're just going to do this a couple more times, get as many chips as we can. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.